Hey everyone, it's Raf Delgado here from Power Platforms, and I thought I'd just share with you a quick video on how we can configure Power BI's personal gateway to run as a service. So when we're looking at producing data sets, reports, or dashboards in Power BI, it can be a very user-targeted service. In that, I mean that as a report designer, you would create the report, you would publish it, and you would maintain the data refreshes. Now, when looking at this, this can work quite well, but there's some key things that we have to consider. As a report designer, what if you don't own that report? What happens if you're not always available to maintain that report or data refreshes? What if multiple people need to manage that content or collaborate within that report? What about maintaining the data? How can you best do this with information which may be on premise and not as easily publishable in Power BI, updating and refreshing your data currently comes in three flavors. We have the Power BI desktop, which is a local authoring tool to create very rich and powerful visual reports. You can refresh your data, which may be on premise by the client and republish that up to the Power BI site. Now this can work quite well if you're not necessarily wanting that information 24 seven or, or on a schedule, you can run that refresh, republish that up into the BI site, maybe once a month for a report or a meeting that you might have. We then have the SQL analysis connector, which you can connect directly to your on-premises SQL analysis services and run a schedule to refresh that data. Now, this is really, really cool, but unfortunately we're in November 2015 and it doesn't currently support multi-dimensional models. Now, this may be changing because I know in the November Power BI desktop update, they've added multi-dimensional support into the client. So whether they're going to update the services connector remains to be seen, but it's worth keeping an eye out for that. And the one that we'll be talking about today is the Power BI personal gateway, which replaced the data management gateway in Office 365's Power BI. Now, this is still available, but it's been deprecated at the end of the year. The Personal Gateway is a desktop client which, when connected, will update your data sets for you. Now, this is really, really awesome, but because it allows you to refresh your data on a schedule, it does have its limitations. One of those being that you have to be signed in and the gateway has to be running for the schedule to work. Now, on the Power BI's website, it seems to suggest that you can run this as a service, but when I've asked some of the questions on the forums, it seems to be referring more to the data management gateway rather than the personal gateway. So what we're going to walk through today is setting up a service account for the Power BI personal gateway to manage our data sets, and then secondly, installing the gateway and how we can configure the gateway to run as a service. So let's just have a look at some of the prerequisites around configuring our service account. So this is everything that I've done beforehand just to get us ready for configuring everything up. So I've set up a service account already in Active Directory called Power BI Personal Gateway. So this will be the account that we'll be using to publish any critical reports up and to manage that data set. I've then given it administrative rights over a server which will have the Power BI Personal Gateway installed on. And I've also granted that service account access to any resources where I needed the data connecting to. So let's have a look at configuring the service account and assigning the license. So as you can see, we have our Power BI personal gateway all nicely replicated up into Office 365. And what we need to do is we just need to assign it a couple of licenses. So we need to assign it the Power BI Office 365 or Power BI Pro license. And we also need to give it a mailbox so just the Exchange Online plan as well. So once we've done that, we need to go off into mailboxes and just edit the personal gateway mailbox. And all we need to do is just go into mail features, go into mail flow, and we're just going to enable forwarding. And as you can see, I've already set this one up to forward to myself. The reason why we do this is because if any syncs fail, it will email you to say that the schedule refresh has failed. So I want to know about that, not the Power BI gateway, because it's not going to be a mon monitor mailbox. And that should be all good to go. So let's take a look at installing the Power BI gateway. 
So I'm signed in here to my server now as the Power BI Personal Gateway service account. I've downloaded the Power BI Personal Gateway installation and I'm just going to go through the setup. You'll notice here that the default path here for the configuration files is the actual app data. I'm changing that on mine just to put it into program files and I'm going to name this Power BI Personal Gateway. Click OK on that. So the next step's pretty much pretty straightforward. It's going to install and extract all the content, and then it's going to launch the Power BI gateway for us. Just click it launch on here, and you'll notice the client will load up on the bottom right hand corner ready for configuration. So all being well, we'll get a nice configuration wizard. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're actually going to sign into the Power BI site as the service account. The reason for this is, is that because this is going to be the account that we'll be using for managing our data set. So when we're publishing anything up, we're going to be publishing it as that service account. So you want to sign in with your credentials on there. It will run through the rest of the wizard, configure all the local settings for us. So that's all set up and Power BI Gateway is all ready to go. So let's test the personal gateway to make sure everything's working okay. So I'm on the server and I'm currently still signed in. And as you can see, the client is still up and running. So what we can do is I have got a nice Power BI report already signed in as my service account. I'm going to publish that back up online and replace my content. When all that's done, we'll get a nice success message and then we can open the Power BI portal. So within the portal, you can see we have our data set, SCSN daily breakdown. And if I go to the refresh schedule, I've got my gateways online and my data source credentials need amending. So if I just edit my data source credentials and just do a Windows Authenticate sign-in, should be able to then refresh our information. The exclamation mark is now gone and the last schedule time is now up to date. So as you can see, that's all working. So the next step is to have a look at installing the personal gateway as a service account. So at the minute, I'm still currently signed in on the server. But if I sign out of this server, and try and refresh this information, you see that I've got an error. So if I have a look and see what the reason for that error is, I couldn't find the gateway server. Confirm, I could go into here and you can see that it's showing up offline. And what we need to do is just install it as a service account instead. So let's take a look at installing the Power BI Personal Gateway service. So I'm using a tool called SRV Any, which was introduced in 2003 as a resource kit tool. And all I'm doing is I'm using a PowerShell script to create a service that calls the gwconfig.exe that we've already configured as a service account. So all we need to do is run PowerShell as administrator, cd to the directory, and run the install setup service. So it will prompt you for credentials. The credentials wants to be the service account password. And all we're going to do is just pop that in there. And it will carry on, create the location for the SRV any. It will then uh, do a group policy update to add the user in to log on as a service rights. And then it will start the service. And we're all done. So let's just check the accounts all working. And 
if I load up services, you can see now we have our Power BI personal gateway service, which is running. You'll notice that the logon actually I've changed to the email address rather than the old legacy pre-2000 name. This just means that when it's actually signing in, it will sign in with those credentials and it seems to work a lot better. So I can sign out of this server. And then I can go back to my data and I can then refresh data. And it will happily refresh without me being signed in on that server. And as you can see that the service is happily refreshed the data set without a problem. And all is good. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of how you can maybe manage your data sets as a service within your organization and maybe implement it in your own environment. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.